Hi, my name is Fabrizio Girardi. I am a political scientist working at the University of Zurich in Switzerland, and I am the co-founder and co-director of the Digital Democracy Lab. On the 9th of November, 1989, when the Berlin Wall was falling, uh, I remember I was 14 years old and I was watching uh, the news on TV together with my parents. And uh, I, I didn't quite understand what was going on exactly, but they told me it was a historical event uh, that I would remember forever. And of course, uh, they were completely right. As a child, uh, I wanted to understand uh, how the world works. Um, so my job is to find it out. So basically, I'm living the dream. So one of the biggest challenges we're facing as a society is the fact that digital technology is changing how democracy works. Uh, social media and disinformation is probably the first thing many think about, uh, especially in the context of uh, elections. But there are also other aspects. And for example, um, facial recognition technology can be used to improve safety, uh, but that brings up important questions uh, regarding privacy and surveillance. Now, the key problem is that these facts are not well understood at all. And, and why is that? It's not that researchers are not working on these issues, quite the contrary. Uh, researchers are putting a lot of effort into studying these questions. The problem is that the data we need to understand the impact of digital technology on politics uh, are very hard to access uh, because they tend to belong to private companies such as Facebook, uh, Google, and so on. And these companies are not sharing the data uh, with researchers. So my solution, the Digital Democracy Lab, is to create a research infrastructure that helps researchers collect and analyze the data they need in the most effective and efficient way possible so that they can understand how digital technology affects democracy based on hard facts. What's innovative in the Digital Democracy Lab is that it's a new model for social science research. Usually, social scientists would come up with the ad hoc solutions uh, to get the data they need, but that's not enough um, to understand how digital technology affects democracy. And that's because uh, the data are so hard to access and to process. So the new aspect of the Digital Democracy Lab is that we have built up an infrastructure that is flexible, it's scalable, and it helps researchers uh, answer many different questions much more effectively. Many people are worried that digital technology is breaking democracy, but there are many more opinions than facts. The Digital Democracy Lab is helping to establish the facts and therefore to understand what digital technology is actually doing to democracy. There are lots of open questions, um, including basic ones, uh, for example, the prevalence of disinformation on social media. Uh, but what's keeping me awake at night is the fact that uh, the data we need to answer those questions is actually available but inaccessible to researchers because the data belong to social media companies and uh, those companies are not really interested in sharing the data with us. That's our biggest problem. <laughs>